Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, the 10th of October 2017. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes and comments. Ooh. And I hope also that you're watching your um, weekly video and your monthly video. The monthlies are up at the moment, October 2017 for each sign. Quite deep ones quite deep readings. Ooh, I'm taking one of Brian and Wendy Frude's cards. Going a bit different today. Going a bit off-piste. Ooh, that one. Ooh, okay. I have one of these. We're going omelette on it. We're doing an omelette reading. That's where I take a little bit of everything from the tarot fridge and, ooh, and throw it in. Okay. Very interesting. What else do I want? One of these. Shifting sands, that's what I'm getting here. Shifting sands. Colette Baron Reed and get the Phoenix now. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Resurrection and a surrender to change. I like this card. It kind of looks nicer than the death card, doesn't it? <laughs> I think. Also, this is my pack where I've got two of these, two Phoenix in one pack. I don't know if you remember, if you have a look a while ago, I did a reading with three cards and two of them came up as this one. I was like, you can see my face going, uh, <laughs> in the middle of it, thinking, what's gone on? These are new. So, the Phoenix. There is an element of sacrifice with the Phoenix because obviously something burns and something kind of rises from the ashes. And then we get Chuck Spezzano's Enlightenment card. We get Sacrifice again, the Relationship card of Sacrifice. Not everything is going to fit into something. There's a shifting sands element. There's a, an air of instability about things. And this could be relationships at work. It could be your relationship with yourself, your environment, your friends, where you fit in the world. Something about it doesn't quite fit and may have to go, may have to be surrendered to change. Because here we've got the two of pentacles in the reverse. You can see in the upright, two of pentacles always has an element of somebody juggling, juggling feelings, emotions, people, whatever it is, there's juggling. And when it's in the upright, things are kind of managing to all the balls are staying up in the air. But as you can see, as is often the case in most tarot, the sea behind this person is choppy. And this is a choppy kind of situation, whatever it is. It's become a bit unstable. We've got the three of wands in reverse as well. Something that was set out to be a certain way, which is the ones, you know, you stake your territory, next thing you do would be the fourth one, then you'd put the roof on. Something that's set out to be a certain way may not go that way. It may not be the best way for it. It may not be the best thing for you to do. There is some element of what you wanted out of a situation that you may have to lay down as a sacrifice, and that's what that is. If it's a personal relationship, maybe that you were holding out for something 
and you decide that you need to surrender whatever that need that you had was for the good of the relationship. In a long-term relationship, that has to happen sometimes, doesn't it? You, It's compromise. It could be in work as well, in a work relationship or a work scenario. Something you were holding out for is not going to fit. You know, if you push it and push it and push it, it just is a square peg in a round hole. If you let that go, the way opens up to something new. And then we get the queen of the day. This is a gorgeous card. This is a card of blessings. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's almost like she's sort of blowing the blessings out of her hand. This sacrifice or this letting go of a need or a want or a desire, which is better way of putting it, could be a blessing. Sometimes we do this, it blows oxygen onto something and it blooms. And whatever we were holding on to that we thought we really needed was actually holding everything back. This is about the whole, not just about the very near. It's not about the local relationship. It's about the eternal relationship. You can see in the two of pentacles, that's the eternity symbol. He's juggling within that. And of course we do, we juggle for eternity. It certainly feels like that, doesn't it? But sometimes let one of the balls go. Drop the ball, drop the ball. Hmm. I want one of these. And we get go the distance and this is about being in it for the long game again it's about the whole it's not about the here and now it's not about what happens today it's not even about what happens this week maybe not even this month but it's about the whole lifespan of what we're dealing with if that's a relationship it's about going the distance whether that's work I was going to say whether that's work or play whether that's work or whether that's in romance it's about sacrificing short-term goals for the long-term good. And it's a blessing. Doesn't always feel that way when you're the one climbing down. <laughs> but healing with the Angel's Oracle card, we get the Power card. Like I said, with this Queen of the Day, with this sort of blowing the fairy dust and the blessing of it all, I actually think it strengthens the relationship, the situation and the um, opportunity for the future that comes with it. So I quite like it. And ultimately, this is very powerful. This is Rebirth. That's quite a deep reading. I like that. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.